all our toys are suddenly gone. Our adventure has just begun. To get them back, we travel around in hopes that one day they might be found. Toy Seekers Episode 7 High in the Himalayas Mom and Dad and the children were flying on the four-wheeled flying boat in search of their lost toys. We've got you, Bubble! Dad said when he saw the huge pink cloud-like thing on the map. Where is it now? Emma asked. It's heading towards the Himalayas, Dad answered. Then he started to talk about the big mountain range. Hibba what? Otto asked. Oh, son, Dad replied. The Himalayas have the world's highest mountains. Their peaks are always covered in snow, and they reach to the clouds. Wow, wow. Cool. cool. The three kids were amazed. Why is there snow all the time? Is there any summer at all? Otto was curious. Yes, there is. But the air is very cold and thin at this height, Dad answered. The kids seemed frightened. Thin? How is that even possible? Emma asked, afraid. Are there places where there is no air at all? It's okay. No worries. Thin only means that the air contains less oxygen, which makes breathing a bit harder. If you walk, you'll get tired sooner, and you need to breathe deeper, Dad explained as they reached the mountain. Let's go hiking, Dad told the others, quickly put their warmest clothes on and headed for the door. So the family ascended up the mountainside. Mom led the way, Emma, Otto, and little Snoozy followed her in a line, and Dad brought up the rear so he could watch over all the others. Yay! A shout came from behind. Guests! Everyone looked back to see a playful Ibex hopping around and blowing his horn. Hi there, dear visitors. I'm Mr. Ibex, and I've been living here for years. I like jumping around the mountainside and meditating. If you would like me to show you around the mountain, please come with me. That's a great idea. Thank you, Dad replied. La 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 la. They were walking steadily up the mountain in the heavy snow admiring the view as they were getting closer to the peak. Oh my, Mr. Roundy seems to fall behind, Mr. Ibex said, and he hopped up to Dad. <sighs> yes, it's very hard to move, Dad tried to reply. <sighs> I have to sit down for a second. You see, kids, that's why you should do some exercise every day. Dad looked at his children, who were also catching their breath. After a short break, Dad got better, and so they could move on. What's this shiny thing up there? Otto broke the silence. It's our spy glass, Snoozy replied. But how will we climb up there? Emma was worried. I know. If we can't go up, then we will make the spyglass come down to us, Mom said, and she took the megaphone they had found last time in her hands. Please slide down, spyglass! This triggered the avalanche right away, and the spyglass came along with the sliding snow to finally land at their feet. It's a clever idea indeed, but be careful. The sound makes the air vibrate, which can make the snow on the peaks move. And so it may slide down and bury us all. This is called an avalanche, Mr. Ibex warned Mom. You're an amazing tour guide, Mr. Ibex. Thank you for your help, Dad said. Take care, visitors, Mr. Ibex said goodbye. Now that was a good hike, Emma said. 
She was holding the hand of Snoozy, who had almost turned into a sleepwalker by then. Wow, this is the sixth toy that we found, Mom said as she put the spyglass into its place. Everybody sat down, ready for takeoff, and soon the flying boat started to roll. The Roundy family continued their journey, searching for their favorite toys. The Himalayas are so high, their snowy peaks might touch the sky. If you're careful and take your time, there's no mountain you cannot climb. <laughs>